Okay, first, we'll go off and we'll have a look at the keys and the synths that have been used in this track. There's a main sort of keyboard motif that, that develops throughout this song, uh, and there's a synth section as well that's really there for a textural side of things. So if we go through and have a look, way down the bottom here is where I've got all my, my keys and, and my, my synth parts. Now, it looks like it could be fairly complex, but... I'm not a great keyboard player. I don't profess to be. So it's actually quite simple. There's lots of chords and there's lots of little two note parts that sound really nice, but are really simple and anyone should really be able to do it. Um, they were just played in through, played into the recording using my Behringer, what is it, a UMX25. It's a really dodgy little controller, but works really well, at least for my purposes anyway. So let's have a listen to the start of the song and you'll just hear the sort of sounds that are being used. And that's pretty much as complex as it gets for my keyboard parts. Um, so you see we've got broken up in two parts here. We've got the low piano part, we have the high piano part, and we've got two lanes here for the high piano part. So I don't know if this is even possible to be played by one person. Uh, let's just say this is a band that's got two keyboard players. There we go. And there's my excuse for, for doing that. You see, it's just really the chords being spread out with the little melody parts coming through over the top. Uh, if we just have a look, listen to, to some of these, you'll see what I mean. Here's a little melody breakdown leading into a, a change in the song and this is just the high part See, very, very simple. Uh, let's have a look at the rack and we'll go through and, and show you what that is there that's playing. So all it is, part of the reason pianos, we have just a couple of the, the, the standard kits that come in the reason pianos for, for the, both parts. Um, and I didn't really do anything to it. It's straight up sound, straight from the Reason pianos. It's one of the things I love about these Reason refills, uh, especially the, the ones that come straight from propeller heads. They just sound good. They're already designed to fit well into a mix. Um, and that's pretty much all I've done on this. I think I popped a bit of extra reverb on them. And uh, that pretty much sums up the entire sound design for the piano parts. Uh, reason makes it very, very simple to go through and do. Um, and there's just so many great sounds that are already in there. Now, the other part that tends to play through the song, uh, it's the, it falls into the virtual instrument sort of area, is this synth sound. So let's have a listen to this when it comes in. But what you can see, it's really just a variation on the different keyboard parts. Um, pretty much, it's just a combination of the two, and it just fills out the sound. It's not really over overbearing it's just sort of there as a, a nice pad really in the background which really fills it out so have a listen to it by itself again really simple just there for the texture and in that breakdown sections here it just starts hitting the chords and holding them. And that's it. That's all it does. And when you put it all together in the mix, it sounds a bit like this. Can you take my hand? You can take my breath. So 
let's just have a look at the rack there for that synth. Go over into my combinator section here. If I scroll down, here we go. Here's the synth strings. That's Goldberry's Love. It's one of the factory sound banks, um, I believe. Um, it's, again, I didn't really do anything to it. It's straight out of the, the patch that I loaded up and it just really fit the song straight away. Yeah. 